Hey, Tough Love family. I'm gonna quickly go over building your frame. We're working on some instructions, but you guys are the first ones to order the frame. And so unfortunately we just haven't caught up yet. So I'm gonna make this quick video to um, make it pretty simple for you to put it together. So we've uh, included this tool. You're gonna to be using the T20 for the wood screws and then the uh, PH2 for the um, yarn thread screws. So let's get started. I'm gonna use a drill, otherwise we're gonna be uh, sitting here forever. But if you have a drill at home, I would highly recommend using it. First off, when you unpackage the product, be very careful because these obviously have nails all over them and you'll prick yourself if you're not careful. Also, the wood is rough wood, so be careful for splinters, um, but uh, it is pine, so you should be okay. But it isn't sanded or anything, just wanted to bring that to your attention. I also wanted to thank Ella, who's our 15-year-old uh, 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 sophomore who's been putting these together for us, so thank you, Ella. Um, here's how we start. So I lay it out with the base A, side B on the left, the top is C, and the side D is your right side. Go ahead and grab your eight wooden screws. This is what we're gonna be working with first. You'll notice that um, Ella's got these blue lines on the top and the bottom. That's just to help you line up where you're putting your, um, your side pieces. What I like to do is go in so I can kind of see the screw coming out and you'll be doing this manually if you have the hand threader. And then just align that with your pilot hole and then get it in place. And you're gonna do this on both sides. Once you've aligned that first pilot hole, everything should go in pretty easily on that side. And then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna gently drive the uh, screw through till we see it on the other side and then line it up with the pilot hole and drive it home. Same thing with the top. Thanks again for your support, guys. I'm not sure if you know our mission or not, but um, our whole uh, reason for being is creating jobs for survivors of gender-based violence. And um, our project is focused in South Africa currently, but we are rolling it out as soon as we can to other places. So again, we're drilling it through until we see it come through and then we'll just align it with the pilot hole and drive it home. And again, if you're using your hand threader, um, hand tool, it's going to take a little longer, but I didn't want to have you guys waiting forever. So that's the frame. It's built. Let's go ahead and put in the yarn guide next. Grab your wood screws. If you've got a drill, you'll have to change out your drill bit. Um, if you're using your um, hand threader, this is where you're going to break out the uh, MP, the PH2, sorry. Um, so, same thing. Screw it in until you see your pilot hole. And then drive it home. Okay. Now we're going to quickly attach the... Uh, carpet tacks. Look on the back, you'll notice that they're stated what side they're going to be placed on. This is D and your sharps always point out from the frame. The sharp pieces always pointing away. So the side pieces go all the way up to the bottom, the base and the top. So this is side left B, arrows pointing or sharps pointing out from the frame. And again, this is also going to be on the top and the bottom. And then we're going to take top C, sharp points pointing out away from the frame. And then the base is two pieces, sharp pieces pointing down, again, away from the frame. You can cover up all that writing that we have on the frame with these pieces. And then just drive all the nails in. And that's your frame. Guys, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out, um, 888 eight seven three eight zero zero one glad to help you guys if you're having any questions with the uh with the frame